Unit 2, World Issues. Unit 2, Lesson 1. World Population Growth. For thousands of years, the population of the world increased gradually. Then, in the mid-19th century, the world's population started to increase rapidly. In the hundred years between 1830 and 1930, the population of the world grew from one billion to two billion people. By 1960, just 30 years later, the world's population had hit three billion. Fifteen years later, the population reached four billion. Then, just 11 years later, there were five billion people on Earth. In 1999, we passed the six billion mark. Today, the world's population grows by 76 million people every year. That is about 240,000 people every day. By the year 2050, researchers predict that the population of the world will be 9.1 billion. Does the Earth have the natural resources to support this many people? Unfortunately, the answer to this question depends on information we don't have. For example, we don't know how people will choose to live in the future. We don't know what their standard of living will be. We also don't know what new technologies will be available in the future. We do know that the Earth's natural resources are limited. Fresh water, for example, is crucial for health and food production. However, more than 97% of the water on Earth is salt water, which is poisonous to both people and crops. Only 3% of the water on Earth is fresh water, and three-quarters of that fresh water is frozen at the North and South Poles. Today, the demand for fresh water is greater than the supply in roughly 80 countries around the world. By 2025, scientists predict that 48 countries will have chronic shortages of water. At present, desalinization, or the removal of salt from salt water, is not a solution to the shortage of fresh water. It takes a lot of energy to remove the salt from ocean water, and that makes the desalinization process very expensive. The amount of land we can use to produce food is also limited. Today, roughly 11% of the land on Earth can be used for crops, while another 20% is available for raising animals. Each year, however, more of this land is lost as cities grow and roads stretch across the land. In addition, Overcultivation has already damaged an amount of farmland equal to the size of the United States and Canada combined. It is possible to increase the amount of farmland, but only a little. Some farmland can be more productive if people start using different farming methods, but this will not increase worldwide production very much. Clean air is another important natural resource. However, it too is threatened by the growing population. The average person today puts about 1.1 metric tons of carbon into the atmosphere each year. Most of it comes from burning fossil fuels. Gasoline, coal, oil, wood, and natural gas. Scientists say that the amount of carbon dioxide in the air is already 18% higher than it was in 1960. What effect would three billion more people have on the air we breathe? While we have many different sources of commercial energy, there is a limited supply of many of them. Today, most of the world's commercial energy comes from three non-renewable energy resources, petroleum, natural gas, and coal. Three quarters of this commercial energy is used by developed countries. As the standard of living goes up in other countries, so will the demand for energy. Some scientists predict that if everyone in the world lived like an American, our fossil fuel supply would last for just 15 more years. Clearly, the number of people that the Earth can support in the future will depend on many things. The Earth may be able to support 9 billion people, but what will their standard of living be? And what effect will all these people have on the environment?